I am going to feed 91 amps through this 15 amp receptacle, but this time I'm going to feed it through the backstab hole. How long do you think it will hold up? Last time I tried to melt a receptacle, I couldn't get it to melt. Let's just say I've been working on the problem of figuring out what makes them melt and what doesn't make them melt. Today's sponsor is Jobber. If you are in the home service industry, whether it's plumber, electrician, carpenter, whatever it is, you have to be using Jobber. No more pen and paper, no more writing notes down that you can't find. Get Jobber, it'll completely organize and change your life. And if you go to my bio, you get two weeks free and 20% off. All right, let's go try to melt a receptacle. Okay, here's the setup. I have that receptacle being fed between those two bars, which then goes off to feed all of these hot plates, which will create a situation where 91 amps flows through that receptacle that is fed with backstabs. All right, let's see how it goes. And energizing. And we start the clock. So 91 amps. Now I'm using my new camera, so it has a gimbal. It's supposed to somehow be better, but I still feel like I messed it up. So bear with me as I learn. Now, I hesitated to go straight from my old experiment to this experiment, but everybody wanted to see the backstabs. The issue is we've changed two variables more than just the backstabs. We have gone from the old receptacle, I was attempting to overload the tab. So I had that be the middle of everything. So I don't know if I'm explaining that right. It was fed with... So I hesitated to go straight to this experiment because it has too many variables over my first experiment that didn't melt the receptacle. What is different besides the backstab is also I had 10s and 12s feeding the other receptacle. So, you know, this has got a few more variables, but here we are coming up to the one minute mark and we have smoke. You fucking kidding me. Okay, 111, and the smoke is going really hot here. But if you look, the heat is mostly in the conductors. The conductors are hotter than the receptacle. We got 89 amps, minute and a half, still going. Now, since my first experiment where I couldn't melt a receptacle, I have melt quite a few, melted quite a few receptacles. And uh, I feel like I understand what makes them melt and what doesn't. And spoiler alert, the key variable is the conductor size. That's where the heat's coming from, in my opinion. It's not the receptacle overheating. It's the small conductors overheating and transferring their heat into the receptacle. I'll show you. Let's go into my shop, which is trashed. But here's some of the other results of experiments. This one. This one did 15 minutes of 90 amps with hooks instead of backstabs. But that's 10. That's 10. This one was hooks. We are coming up to three minutes. We are definitely melting a receptacle. Did you notice I accidentally wired it backwards in my rush? Because this experiment failed a couple times for different reasons. It didn't get it on camera properly. Um, but I don't think the color of the conductor really matters.
see the infrared again. I'm well, getting to my reflection. I don't know how to fix that. Sorry. What if I take a picture and show you guys the picture somehow? Nope. The backstabs have still not failed. They're still carrying the full load. But look how cool that is. Phew, stinky. The magic smoke does not smell good. Maybe I do like this camera. I was cursing at it. A couple of the takes where the gimbal didn't do what I anticipated it to do. I was looking at the sky or my floor, my truck, instead of what I was pointing at. You know what hasn't failed yet? The tab. Thanks. What are we at? 619? Testing. Let it go to 10 minutes. Seven minutes. Eight and a half minutes. Everything's still holding.
Oh, that's not on the right thing. Hold on. I would say everything's pretty hot. <laughs> Those conductors are not hot. All you see is my reflection. I don't know how to get this fucking thing to work. Oh, we are coming up to 10 minutes. I'm going to call it at 10 minutes. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, here's the final result. Now, that might be a clear, oh my God, backstabs are horrible. But if you look at my other experiments, this is 14 on hooks. This is what hooks did in the same experiment. It's the 14 that is the issue. Because this is 14 on hooks. Same experiment, 10 gauge. Same experiment, this is how 10 gauge fared on hooks. I believe the heat is coming from the resistance of the conductor. The conductors have enough resistance at 90 amps to generate enough watts to melt the plastic. All right, thank you very much.